All right, guys, we're going to be giving the TS-54 a go. I wanted to do a session in this vehicle because it's something a little bit different. We've played a lot of battles today. I mean, like, this might be one of those days where I just... I've done literally nothing but play World of Tanks, if I'm being honest with you. Um, we have played, and the sessions have been awful, man, if I must say. We had one good game in the Waffle Panzer and one good game in the SP1C. Everything else, T100 LT, we played one game on Lakeville, and my team just, like, things seemed to be going okay. There was a bunch of people on their team going back to the base, and the rest of my team was pushing into their base. So I went back, and within a minute, like, my whole team melted. I don't even know what happened, but I'm running away, and then all of a sudden, it's like 8 to 14. And I'm like, okay, um, interesting. Um, so I was, like, against, like, 6 or 7 people. Ended up dying, but we got, like, 1,500 damage out of it. Um, we played 7 battles, actually, in the TS-54 today. Look at how well I'm performing. I'm doing okay in this vehicle, honestly. Like, I'm not a heavy player, but this thing's actually pretty fun. Um, even for, for someone like me who doesn't really play, um, heavies. We've played 14 battles in the Hawk 30. Oh my God, they were brutal, man. Um, but they weren't that bad. The most brutal games were in the Bat Chat 12T. 45% win rate, man. Like, holy crap, give me a break with this tank, dude. Like, we went all the way up to a 60% win rate. And then we went down to like a 50% win rate. And then we were in, somewhere in the middle now, 55% win rate. I truly believe that you cannot determine someone's win rate until they they've played like a thousand plus battles in this game because i am telling you guys the amount of games were all like win 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 and then lose 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 it's like stocks man it's like watching you know what i mean or like watching um crypto prices or something like it's like this so much in world of tanks there's no just like okay two wins two losses another win another loss like it's the statistics blow my mind in world of tanks at least the matchmaking i get because it's like either really good and then really bad um and that's it or it's like really bad and then really good like there's just no in between i feel like there's never any in between man i i either have decent teams or i have absolute tomatoes on my team that have no idea how to play the game and uh, it makes it frustrating when you're trying to mark we got up to 91 and a half percent on the 12t i was going to do a session in it but i was just so mad i couldn't even I didn't even want to do this session in it, guys. Um, and now we're at like 89.5% on this vehicle. 51 battles today, guys. So we're trying our best, but I've been struggling like you wouldn't believe in the Bad Chat 12T. So we're going to play something a little bit different today. I might even do a Waffle Panzer session before I go to bed. Um, I was just trying to play some different stuff, man. That's why I even started playing like the SP1C. Because, oh my gosh, man, I was just, I was getting so mad. Like, I normally don't get mad at this game anymore. I don't get too frustrated, guys. But today, I mean, I really needed to, like, chill out, man. Because I was getting, like, so worked up. I was smacking the desk, man. Like, F this gun on the 12T. Because the 12T gun, man, is the most trollish gun I have ever played with in my life. Like, it is worse than the T100 LT. I'm telling you, the Batchat 12T gun, Where where is that vehicle, man? This gun on this tank, man, it's the aiming time, like, and the dispersion isn't great either, but holy crap, does this thing miss, like, every single shot. I'm telling you guys, I average, like, 1,200-something damage in this thing right now. I started at, like, 1,500 in the first 10 battles, and I'm like, nice, this is a good start, and let me try and keep it here, and no way, dude. Like, the amount of shots I miss, I don't care what my hit ratio says, this thing, like, it throws shots into the dirt and up towards the moon more than you would ever think it does, man. It is the most trollish gun I have ever played with. I am telling you guys, I would literally rather be in the EVA 90. That's how bad this gun behaves for me. And it might maybe it's just me because Skill for LTU rated the gun handling like a 3 or 4 out of 5. I think a 4 out of 5, actually. And I'm like, dude, you're on crack. Because this, this gun does not handle at all like that for me. So anyway, guys, we're going to play the TS-54. I have um, almost a two skilled crew on this, full repairs, and then snapshot smooth ride situational awareness, intuition. And um, this tank, man, um, I'm going down to look at the concealment and spotting. Like, that's just what I'm used to. But this tank, man, the DPM is not great, but it does have that double shot, the TS-54. Um, so you have, like, I think it's like 280 a shot or something like that. So you, yeah, it's 280 a shot. The, the APCRs actually have decent pen. Um, I haven't even used the HE yet, 
but you can do the double shot. So it's like called the double penetrator, but I think that's more the 703 too, but still, it's still a double penetrator, right? Um, and it's fun, man. The aiming time is good. The dispersion is good. Like for heavy, like the accuracy is pretty good on this thing. It actually has some gun depression um, and it behaves, it's American, right? But it behaves kind of like a, um, like a Russian heavy IMO, right? I, I feel like it feel it feels to me like a Russian heavy. So I am running it with Bounty Turbo V Stab, and then the survivability slot we have that uh, improved hardening, and then the second one I just run Bounty Vents here in case we get like Prokhorovka just for a little more view range perhaps. But other than that, um, that's it, guys. The field modifications. Can we increase this one more? Do I want to? Yeah, let's just do one more here. Um, and I'm gonna say. Maybe aiming gear slapping. Skill for skill for LTU index. TS fifty four. And he gives it a five star for gun handling. Um, average for friendliness and armor effectiveness. I mean, it's a good tank, man. Like this thing is is good. The only thing I've noticed is the sides are kind of weak. You can't really side scrape that easily with it. Like I, like you can when I played the Lova. Because the Lova, I that's that was my heavy that I played a lot of, because um, it it was good at making credits, um, field modifications, and parallax adjustment. Okay. I thought maybe a little bit different for heavy. Like if I had a, this on a light tank, I would take this on the light tank or something. Minus three percent aiming circle size. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. That gives us 0.34 dispersion. It's probably because the aiming time is really good. Let's get into the battles, guys. Again, I'm not a heavy specialist, but I think we've been playing this thing pretty well. I feel like I can make a big difference with this thing. And I, this is why I wanted to play this vehicle, because I wanted to talk to you guys about playing light tanks. And, like, I truly believe, man, that unless you are, like, a all-star Unicom player in a light tank, that it's very challenging to make a difference in a light tank, especially at the higher tiers, because your gun just doesn't do enough damage right and on a lot of maps spotting has become almost obsolete on a lot of maps especially like a map like mines like i i hate to say it man but it just feels to me like the more i play this game the less spotting i do as time goes on even on like Prokhorov command, you get all these hold down tanks that, that are on the ridge line now. And it's like, I don't know, man. It's just a, it's a very different game that you have to continuously adapt to, guys. And I truly feel like as a light tank player, like my win rate is actually going down. I feel like it has peaked and it's to the point now where I pretty much know everything there is to know about the game and stuff. And it's really just about focusing um, on the game and, and on the mini map and stuff like that. And... Uh, that's how I mark my tanks, is just by being very attentive, really. And if I have to play selfish, then I'll play selfish. But, like, I prefer not to, but I'm telling you, like, with the way some of these um, teams are, man, sometimes you almost have to play selfishly. I hate to say it, dude. I, I hate to say it, but, like, it's really the case, man, with some of these teams. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bye-bye, T3485M. GG for you into the garage. Yeah, so this thing's pretty cool, man. It really is. Like, when you're going against tier 6s, it's pretty fun. But that's how I feel, guys. I just feel like I can't really do much spotting anymore. I can't I can't make much of a difference anymore. I just feel like I really can't, man. I wish that weren't the case, but um, but it is the case, guys. And I've been, I've been having trouble marking things that are above tier 7. Like, tier 8, 9, and 10 tanks... I've always had a problem marking them, so I just feel like I can't quite do enough um, spotting on most maps. I really just feel like I can't. So, that's the reality, and uh, I want to get hit by Artie. VK's pushing in down here, I'm going to actually turn around. And so you end up on these brawling maps, like if you're playing a light tank, you end up on a map like this. And it's like, yeah, I mean, if we were doing maybe what the VK is doing, like you, you could get away with doing some damage, but it's like, you're really not gonna spot much, man. So, so that's the challenge I've been facing, guys. And I just feel like when I play something like the TS-54, maybe not necessarily on mines, cause I'm not that great with heavies on this, but if it's like on, a, on one of the easy maps, like Outpost, like you know where you need to be, I feel like I can make a pretty big difference, man. Like, more so than I can in a light tank, just because I have the armor, right? 
I have the armor, and if I go hold down, I just I feel very powerful. I, I I hate to like, I hate to crap on light tanks, man, but I just feel very good about myself, man, when I'm in this vehicle. So, like, look at this shot on the Centurion. Like, there's no way you could do that in a light tank. <laughs> like, you you can't go hold down. Like, maybe we could try that in the LT432, but Artie would probably spank you for like 600 in the face. Like, these are things you just can't do in a light tank, right? You can't do this crap in a light tank, so. Thanks, light tank. That would not let me back up. Hope it happens to you. <laughs> and then you always get crapped on in the chat, so. But I feel like if you're if you're just a decent heavy tank player, I, I truly believe on most maps you can make more of a difference than you can if you're a decent light tank player. You know, if you compare that to a Unicom light tank player versus a slightly above average heavy tank player, then I think the light tank player can make more of a difference. But it's just there's so much of a learning curve on light tanks, guys. And I feel like you have to be good in a light tank to make a difference. Whereas if you're again, if you're just kind of you're, you're kind of good, <laughs> like you're OK, you know. I'm just going to start driving this way, I think, because like everyone's lit. I'm just trying to figure out like the best way to approach this. So like right here, just like waiting to see if someone's going to shoot me or. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Ooh, even 90s here. Hello. So that's how I feel, guys. And I don't know if you guys feel the same or not, but uh. But I just really feel like uh, when I'm in a tank like this, even if I'm playing average, I, like somehow I can make more of a difference, right, towards getting a win. And I feel like my win rate would be higher if I was as good in heavies as I was in light tanks. Just because you can do more damage, you have armor to use. Like, you know, like there's no way I can play these games with an even if I were in a light tank right now. So, but again, he's outplaying me because I don't have a few range. So, there we go. So the double penetrator, the, the double shot works very well, man. I really like it. I think it's, uh, I think it's quite effective, too. Okay, Pollock goes down. If you can use it r the right way, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Man. Okay. I wasn't sure if this guy would like be that ready for me or not, but he definitely was. Even's trying to like snipe me. Should just stay like this. Trying to use mobility that I just don't have, honestly. And the gun is accurate too, man. I feel like all the shots go like in the middle of the reticle. Unlike the Bat Chat 12T where all the shots go on the outside of the reticle, you know? Trying to get away. Damn. Forgot I didn't have double shot loaded yet. I'm gonna run this way just in case he decides to run all the way around. You gotta think like kind of ahead, you know. Because you don't have the mobility. He's trying to run. Look at him, look at him, look at him now. He's trying. I mean he could get away from me, let's see. I'm trying to cut off his exit. Even can do that a lot better than me. He's trying so hard to get away, man. Look at this guy. Oh, man, this is amusing. This guy's running for his life, man. goes E25 with a nice ram. 18.48 damage, 103 assist. I don't think that was bad. I mean, we we loaded all standards too. We didn't even shoot any APCRs. And uh, that's all we had to do, man. I think we had the better team, so. But I truly just feel like if I got really good at this tank, that I, my, I could easily 
have a win rate of like 60 plus percent, you know? Who's this guy? You play Onslaught World, RHM is meta in it. You might like it. Flip Wagon. Nope, don't really play anything but randoms. Okay, next game. 97.61 WTR. So, like, my WTR in this has been pretty good, too. You gotta use your armor, too. That helps. That helps a lot. Okay, Live Oaks. What do we have? Tier 8 matchmaking again. I I think, if anything, I've seen maybe one Tier 10 game in this, but maybe this has preferential matchmaking where you can only get plus one. Because I am telling you guys, like, I've only seen nines. I think this is probably, like, my, I don't know, 13th or 14th battle in this tank? Something like that. And I don't think I've seen tens yet. So, I mean, that's kind of interesting. I've played enough of the Lova and enough heavies, like even like the old school ones, like the VK100 01P. Um, whatever. <laughs> VK100.01P, I think. I played that a lot. And uh, I know heavies, guys. Like, more than you would suspect. Like, I do... I do know heavies enough, like I know the areas and stuff. I'm not an expert on them. I'm not as good in them as I am with lights. I also know tank destroyers. Like I know the game pretty well. It's just when you only play one class of vehicle 90% of the time, naturally you're going to be better in that class of vehicle. And that's just kind of the case, right? For me. But I know certain areas well enough where I can kind of make them work. You know, I don't think there's really any good hole down spots here. So we're just going to try and like angle ourselves getting lit by the hawk. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to eat my own words, but I know them well enough where I can kind of like, I can kind of manage, you know. Usually I can manage to outplay like maybe 60 or 70, maybe even upwards of 75% of players that I encounter. Maybe maybe something like that. Maybe two thirds. We'll go with two thirds. Like I feel like I'm 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 decent enough where I can usually win a fight against someone. Just aim well and stuff like that. You have good crew, that always helps, but. I might get caught out here, though. I don't know if this is the best play. Do, 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 do. Good thing I put Bounty Turbo on this. I want to kind of stay here. We have no one in the south. Look at these heavies. What the heck, bro? Like, what the heck is going on over there? Yeah, I'm going to go with a loss on this one based on what I'm seeing in the south or east. But... See if I can help the Skoda maybe on the BZ. IS-3 is kind of pushing this. I want this guy to back up and I can double penetrate right here. I don't think he's going to back up. Okay. Just a CS. Just do one of these real quick. That was unexpected. I did not expect the ISU to just be sitting right there. That was kind of weird. Interesting play by the Sioux. I'm going to shoot this building down, I think. Very interesting play by the ISU. That is for sure. And now he's gone. 
Back to the garage, I see you. Back to the garage, my friend. Okay, we'll clean up the CS. There's B said. What kind of angle on this guy? Maybe he didn't even spot me. That was kind of weird. Was I not spotted there? I didn't even really like pay attention to that. The gun is accurate, dude. Like, what the heck? Maybe it's just because I, the Bat Chat 12T gun handling was trash, but. The gun feels really good, man. Like, really freaking good. Now the question becomes, do we want to push this or do we want to fall back and defend? Because they actually did an okay job defending. Looks like. Okay. I'm going to load APCRs for the IS-3. We've been, we've been doing pretty well. We haven't even shot any APCRs up to this point. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're just going to go. This tank works the best hold down. Now, I did go against a Conqueror and another tier 9 tank. And they were one of them was shooting heat right through the freaking turret. So. Where did that go? That must have been lag on the server or like on my end because that did that not look like it went right through the tank and like did it somehow like go through the turret like through that or something it looked like it went right through the tank i think it was just server lag i mean it wouldn't be the first time or it could have been a ghost shell i mean i've seen a ghost shell before too where the game client just either a massive server lag or the game client just literally doesn't pick up the shell Cause that was freaking weird. It looked like it went right through the tank, man. But anyway, another 1800 damage game. I'd like to do a little more damage, but we just haven't had to do it. I thought this was going to be a loss, but they defended east very well. I'm very impressed. I don't know what the HP of this Indian is. Okay, it's a one shot. Nice. Well, other than the ISU spanking the crap out of me, um, we did get him back, though. We did 946 damage to him. We double penetrated him twice, so we quadruple penetrated him. And uh, GG for him, <laughs> I guess. So. Might be interesting content for you, new angle on light tanking with use of spotting planes. It was huge. Eh, maybe. Not interested. Not interested, really. But I might try. Okay. Let's go one more. Probably should have ran boosters for this, but I did run them today. Doing all right. I'd like to. I'd like to be at least at two thousand damage in this vehicle. Each game. We just haven't really needed to do it, you know? I'm kind of putting myself in areas where I can afford to take a couple hits and then dish out a double penetration. Like trying to get the shot the that side shot on the IS3, trying to get the side shot on the on the um ISU. Okay, now we have to go against some nines. Where do I put myself for this? Do I go around? To the east? I think that might be the, our best bet, man. Is to go around to the east. I don't really know how to... This thing only has 8 degrees of gun depression. If I had a lot of gun depression, I might try and stay mid. Maybe we go west here? I think is anyone going west? I'm not going to go west. <laughs> I'll just leave that wide open. Excuse me, my man. 
I'm going to go to the east. I think that's the best play for this vehicle. Size 2. Let him go first. Okay. And west is just going to be wide open. Maybe they'll get the uh, tortoise to cover it or something. Get out of the way, my guy. Really? I can't pin the Kunza? Certainly the TDs can. Come on, gun. I would have thought 218 or whatever would be in, especially with the normalization of APs, that would be enough to go into the turret. Kunza Panzer. Probably just hit the gun or the gun manlet or something. All right, what do we encounter here? The 7032 is still staying there. 50 TP maybe we encounter. I'm just gonna load gold rounds for now until I figure out what I'm gonna be facing here. I think, I think that's the smart play. Maybe the noob play, but whatever, man. You know, I don't play heavies really, so. Well, uh, I I'm glad to be called a noob playing heavies. Okay, I don't wanna get overwhelmed here. Ooh. Excuse me, IS-3. I'm sorry, man. Did I stop your shot? Turn. Turn this way for you. Okay. Well, that guy wasn't very good. Or he just didn't expect that at all. Sorry, my man. But better luck next time, I guess. I know how it feels. I've been deleted by enemies in my lightnings. I hit this guy. Here. Nice. Ugh, he gave me his side. I didn't think he was gonna. Yeah, these guys are not good, man. Like, look at this. Wow, what are these guys doing, man? <laughs> it's nine to one already, guys. You see the matchmaking? Like, the matchmaking is no different now that I'm in a heavy. Like, this is... How Imagine being in a light tank and trying to do 2,500 combined in a game like this. Three minutes into the game, it's 10 to 1. It's 10 to 1, guys. Like, imagine me being in the Bat Chat 12T right now trying to get 2,500 combined, and if I don't get it, like, literally, like, punching myself in the foot because <laughs> I'm so mad about it. It's like, you can't do anything, man. I mean, you could beat yourself up over it, but, like, dude, this is a, f a fucking slaughter. Like, give me a break, man. I mean, like, excuse my language, but I think it's needed in a situation like this to really emphasize, I'm I, like, I mean this, guys. Like, this is bullshit. Like, how are you supposed to get 2,500 combined if you get Cliff and the game is three minutes long? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to jump off the cliff. We're going to make it. Yep, yep. There we go. Nice. 1174 and 147. <laughs> Dude, that was probably one of the quickest games that I've had today, but... It still, it still just goes to show, man, that the matchmaking is very, very quick, right? Regardless, like... They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players do zero damage. And please explain to me, if you're on either one of these teams, how you're supposed to get 2,600 combined, because I think that's actually what it is in the 12T. 2,582. Like, explain how you're supposed to hold that. Because I, I don't I don't know, man. I don't know how, like, not every single game is like that. Yes, so you can say, well, Worlds, you just have to play better in the, you know, the game before, the game after. It's like, dude... Most of the matches actually are kind of like that, though. Not that fast, but most of them are kind of like that to the point where it's like... <laughs> like, what do you what do you do if you get put in a game like that? 
You just you can't do anything. And that was that's been my problem most of the day today is most games end up close to something like that. It's just like four or five slaughters in a row and you're you're ready to put your head through the monitor, man. I'm telling you guys, like, this is why I'm playing something different where I don't really care that much. Like, we did 1100 damage and I'm, I'm not, like, mad about it because it's a heavy tank. Like, I don't feel like I need to perform as well, especially if we're winning by that margin. Like, my, my expertise is not needed, right? Like, I don't need to be good if we're winning 15 to 2, you know? Kind of just take, like, a back seat, you know? And watch it happen. More tier 9 matchmaking. I like going this way and then like playing hole down in the middle here. I find that to be the most fun. I mean, we could go west, but... I kind of like doing this. Going right here. It looks like these guys like it too. Yeah, and they're all gonna, they're all gonna take my spot. So we're all gonna be doing this shit. I think we're going to need APCRs against the object. Skoda's there. I think Skoda can drop heat, like, right through the turret. Perhaps. Yeah, like, look at that, dude. Where does it go? Like, look at that. God, I'm amazed that can even pen. You guys go ahead, man. You guys go. Okay, just the CCs here now. Where do the other guys go? On the other side. Interesting. I'll try and help this Char, I think. I think I'm just going to keep this the gold rounds loaded for the shell velocity. It's better, right? 198. 878, yeah. 1098, I should say. That's actually a stupid poke because they have shots right here. I want to try and be useful on this western portion of the map because in my eyes the western portion of the map is more important than like the east at least and I would even argue the city perhaps I just put myself here Like, maybe I can provide some extra support for the 257 if he runs into trouble, and then we can just easily turn around if they have trouble over there. But I feel like we're losing this. I probably should have just stayed where I was and continued to duel it out. I don't know, man. I don't really know what to do with this. I'm scared of the Skoda, man, because the Skoda hits really freaking hard. I can't do anything with this guy. Oh, did you see that snapshot, guys? Ooh, that was brilliant. He's hitting me. 
Where did that go? Like right into the oof. Yeah, heat, man. See, that's the thing. Like these guys have heat that can just go like right into the freaking turret. It's like what's what's even the point of having a hold down tank at that point? Can we double penetrate this IS-3? I don't want to get myself caught out here. Okay, he's coming this way. Maybe. Let's try and hold this angle on him, actually. Can I kind of go like this on this guy? Okay, he's trying to come up, it looks like. I don't think this is a smart poke, because they have that whole side of the map. We're kind of accepting defeat here. Who's even spotting me here? Oh, behind me. Probably. Like, looking at that, I'm like, who the heck is here? Already. This gun is really freaking good, man. I mean, like, this thing is really good, dude. The gun handling on this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. I can't do anything to this guy. It's like, I feel like this is almost unfair. The Type 63s are ridiculous. Hold down. Saw that angling, guys? Saw that angling? Does it's me okay? 3102 damage, 601 assist. I think we played that well, man. The T103 is not a very good tank for like trying to brawl, but I think we we all played that guy. If he was a really good player, he probably would have beat me to the punch on that one shot where I double penetrated him. But we were able to get the jump on him there, and then we just angled really well. Gave him that 45 degree angle. He should have penned in the side plate because when you angle this thing like that, it's really easy to pen like right above the track there. But he just didn't know, and he bounced. And when you're currently moving, sometimes it's weird because you go to aim somewhere, and then like as the person's turning, the angle can get weird, man. So that's what you have to do. You just have to angle, like, and occasionally you'll get bounces, and like some people just don't know where to shoot the tank. It's the, the case, guys, you know. So what are we at? Thirty-nine minutes. I think we'll call it here, guys. I want to play a, a session in the Waffle Panzer for you as well. It's currently midnight, but I think that was a good game to end on. Um, we were top by damage here, thirty-one oh two damage, and uh, after four battles, we had a ten k WTR. It's great. Three wins, um, nineteen eighty-eight damage. Like I don't think that's terrible. 
But like three of these games, I feel like we didn't really have to even do much. I feel like there was almost three automatic wins. And then the last game, I, I didn't really know what to do for some of that. And then we just kind of got flanked there and we did our best. We did 3,100 damage though. I think that was really good. So 1988 damage and... Uh, that's it, guys. By the way, I do also run large repair kit and large first aid kit on this thing only because um, I noticed like one time I got hit just one time by someone and three of my crew members died at one time <laughs> to one shot. I don't know how that was possible, but it happened. And then the large repair kit is just because I got ammo racked and tracked once and I'd rather not have my ammo rack go out because that really sucked, man. It was a game on steps and... Uh, I could have done so much more damage if I didn't have, if I wasn't ammo racked for 90 seconds. So that's it, guys. I'll respond to this guy after the video and um, then we'll play the Waffle Panzer. Hope you guys enjoyed something different. Catch you for the next one. Take care. Bye bye.